What's up, guys? And today we got the team of the week, Matt Breda. I think I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. But anyways, no chemistry boost. Now, the only thing I wanted to see with him was the 90 speed, 89 acceleration. That's really it. There's nothing else that sells him. All of his, you know, running back moves are, are just so low. 80 juke move, but I really wouldn't lean on that, obviously. I tried all of them, spin, juke, truck, stiff arm. It was just so terrible, man. So I don't recommend doing any, any of those ever. But um, one shining thing. He took like 12 hit sticks, did not fumble a single time, and I couldn't understand why. I'm not complaining. He does have a very low carry rating but and, or break tackle as well. But I couldn't believe how often he was getting hit and not fumbling. You know, It was crazy to me, but that was really the only shining part of his game that I saw. Now this right here, the 90 speed and 89 acceleration. I was hoping that he would be like damn near uncatchable because there's not that many 90 speed players on defense anyways you know plays like this right here i wanted to see this over and over and over you know i was hope i was assuming that i would anyways you know these uh breakaway runs right here i wanted to see this consistently but he would just it just felt like so many times he just felt like so sluggish like he was wearing like ankle weights or something man because a lot of times he would get caught from behind and i know a lot of people have been talking about this you know the Madden people have come out and say that, you know, it's more about pursuit angles, you know, people saying how come my 89 speed this or 90 speed that is getting caught by 82 speed de uh, defensive players and whatnot, and they're saying it's all about the pursuit rating and whatnot, which makes no sense to me either, you know, a lot of people say it makes no sense, and I agree, and I can see it myself, and there are a lot of times with him where he got caught from behind where he should not have, but um, anyways guys, he definitely did not live with my, to my expectations. He's not a terrible running back. Like I said, he took a lot of his sticks and, and did not fumble. But um, plays like this right here, I was hoping I would see a lot, but I just I just didn't. I mean, I saw it like three times out of like six or seven games. He got caught way too many times from behind. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. And right now, he, he only goes for like 15K, so it's not like he's expensive or anything like that. But honestly, I was expecting him to be like a budget Barry Sanders, you know, being able to, you know, just outrun people and whatnot. I just, I mean, he did, obviously, you know, you, you saw in the video he, uh, clips, he did actually outrun a few uh, people, but it just wasn't consistent. But um, anyways, guys, this is just a quick little review. You know, I figured I might throw it out there because those that 90 speed did look intriguing. My next review is actually going to be a user review over Derwin James, man. Oh, my God, 6'3", 86 speed. That video should be coming out soon, as well as the team of the week, Patrick Mahomes. That one, those two videos coming out next guys so anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you boys next time don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace